three million commuters who rely on these subway lines were back on track. Getting the one in nine up and running again, that has, that's had a major impact on New York. Not just the 1.3 million riders who are affected by having that section of line taken out of service, but I think for all New Yorkers, a sense of normalcy, uh, that we could do it so quickly and that New York is getting back to normal. Fourteen different subway lines converge on seven stations in just four cramped blocks, transporting 700,000 people a day to and from the financial district. To break this bottleneck, engineers are planning a downtown counterpart to the mega terminal uptown. A massive super station under the streets of the financial district with a giant concourse that will connect all 14 subways. The Lower Manhattan Transit Center, as it will be called, will spread over 170,000 square feet, almost the size of an aircraft carrier. It will take seven years to build and cost three quarters of a billion dollars. Engineers are confident their plans will meet the needs of commuters 50, 75, even a hundred years to come. And they believe that they can handle the worst that might lie ahead. That scenario might look something like this. It's rush hour on a busy Friday morning. A packed train from Long Island comes across a smoldering track fire that quickly spreads to the first car of the passing train. It explodes into flames and smoke fills the car. Conductors move the frightened passengers to the rear of the train. Up ahead in the mega terminal, engineers have halted all other trains and emergency crews are rushing to the scene. The train enters the terminal, its first car an inferno. The doors spring open and 1,400 people rush from the rear cars. The giant ventilation fans kick into high gear, sucking the thick, noxious smoke to the surface. An army of firefighters descends on the platform, blasting the fire with high-pressure hoses. And 10 minutes later, it's out. The only injuries are minor. Minutes after that, the trains are running again. Engineers can't guarantee happy endings for every emergency, but they have tried to anticipate all possible disasters. It's been a bumpy ride for New York subways from the top of the heap to the bottom, and perhaps soon back on top again. With a new super system that will set the standard for decades to come. Once again, New Yorkers will be able to lay claim to having the greatest mass transit system on the planet.